Fresh fish. Just caught, mister. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Buyers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. <sighs> 
Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. 
I, I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who, who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Have you... have you come to save us? Your family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? 
First things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going.
My baby boy? Seriously? He's 30 there. Agatha Pierce, I presume? Uh, the name's Charles Reed. I'm a P.I. Good day, young man. What's your business? There's a matter that I'd like to discuss. It concerns your son, Milton. Oh no. What's happened? Is he okay? I'm afraid this may take some time to explain. Perhaps you have something to, uh, wet my whistle. Oh, fear not. I keep my cellar stocked for just such occasions. Would you kindly fetch us some Chianti from the cellar? You look more than capable. Ma'am, that's a most generous offer. So why do I sense a quid pro quo? Oh, no, no. Well, I did hear something rustling around. But I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Yeah. Leave it to me. Here are the keys. Pick any bottle, as long as it's Chianti. And don't shy away from the good stuff. It's there to be shared with guests like yourself. Bye. Good luck. It's a fortune's worth of wine. I hope some of the bottles survived.
nice wine she's got here. No one will notice if I had a dash of something else. Okay, this much strychnine would be enough to kill a horse. than a banker's heart. Here's the Chianti, and I've dealt with the cellar. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. So brave and handsome. Let us begin. Sorry, ma'am. Oh? It's nothing. Strange. What's the problem? Extra. 
This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter.
Proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel.